Hello there. Are you a trophy hunter like me? And there are just games that have that one asshole motherfucker of a trophy that make you want to fucking kill yourself. And you're like, God damn it. Why am I doing this to myself as you stare at your fucking trembling hands? All because you desperately want that fucking platinum and the completionist within you is urging you to get it? Well then you clicked on the right fucking video. What's going on guys? Welcome. This is Matt and I'm here to talk about the worst kinds of trophies in video games. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? So, in my opinion, the worst kinds of trophies, and there's always one, it's usually a bronze trophy, which is fucking hilarious, by the way, because it makes no sense. The way the trophies are graded is bronze is the easiest, most common to get, and trophy lists usually have more bronze than any other type, usually. That's not always the case. Uh, you know, silvers are a nice middle ground, they're meant to be like, Oh, hey, they're not that hard to get, but they want you to know that you did something special. And then there's the gold trophies, which in my mind would be like, Oh, these are the hardest trophies in the game to get, and they, they should make you feel the most accomplished and satisfied when you get them. And funny enough, that is rarely the case. Gold trophies are usually pretty fucking easy to get in a game, which is completely contrary to what you would believe and how the trophies are graded. Uh, but I digress. Uh, bronze trophies are usually the hardest ones to get in a game, and usually that one motherfucker of a trophy is usually a bronze trophy. Not always, but a lot of the time it is. And it's usually a trophy where you will have literally every other trophy on the entire list long before you have this one, this motherfucker of a trophy that you haven't gotten yet. You will have every other trophy on the list like days before you get this one. And it's fucking bullshit. Me personally, that is the worst kind of trophy to me in any trophy list. Is where you have every other trophy in the game, but not this one. And the last, your last final moments with playing this game just feel like a slog. Like you're being fucking dragged face down through the dirt by your hair. That's exactly what it fucking feels like. And you have to bust your fucking nuts just to get it. And it makes you question if it was even all worth it. And it makes you start second guessing. Oh, maybe I should just give up. Maybe this platinum isn't for me. But then, God damn it! I got every other trophy in the game except this one! I'm just one away from the Platinum! So I have to get it! And then... Or there's the other rationale where you're like, Well, I put in this much time, now I gotta make sure it was worth it and put in, like, double the time. <laughs> just for this one fucking trophy. And half the time, that's not even a fucking exaggeration. Half the time, you do have to put in half more than double, or even like triple the time you put in for all the other trophies. And that's bullshit. Now, I've gathered a pretty good example, actually a few, of, uh, of a few games trophy lists that have a trophy much like the one I'm describing. And uh, I'm going to show you them right now. So, Skyrim, it's, it's not a difficult platinum at all. Uh, it's actually a very reasonable, fun platinum to get. But this game has a trophy, and I'm literally only missing one, as you can see from the trophy list. I'm 98% done with this game's trophy list. It, it would have 100% completion and add to my overall score on this fucking website if it wasn't for this one fucking trophy. So in the Dawn Guard DLC, in the first trophy pack, this is the only trophy in the game I'm missing. Defeat a legendary dragon. Now, I had every other trophy in the game, even in the other two uh, DLC packs. Literally every trophy except this one. And, you know, uh, by the end of it, this was the last trophy I hadn't got yet. And I wasn't really following a guide or anything. I was just, like, kind of getting the trophies as they came. And once I had every other trophy in the game except this one, I was like, wait, how haven't I done this yet? Like, I've killed hundreds of dragons in this game, so why the fuck don't I have this trophy? And then sure enough, you go on Google and you look up the requirements. Legendary 
Variants of dragons were added for high level players. They begin to appear at around level 78. Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck? You're telling me I've gotten every other trophy in this fucking game and I'm only in the early level 60s by that point, and you're telling me I have to grind to level 78? Which is very difficult to do now that I'm so high level. Experience takes a very long time to gather. You're telling me I'm just gonna be fucking grinding, doing random uh, trivial quests, or just hitting bullshit mobs until I eventually get enough experience to hit level 78, which is gonna be like hours upon hours of grinding just so I can kill a fucking dragon, and then boom, I'll have all the trophies in the game? That is not fucking worth it, it's bullshit, and quite honestly, it's a completely unreasonable trophy, and it is the one trophy in this entire list that I have an issue with, and it shouldn't fucking exist. Now, whether or not you want to say things like, Oh, but Matt, there's fucking ways to, to grind quickly, experience, or... Or, uh, actually, I'm pretty sure all the XP grind, uh, glitches in the game, or XP exploits in the game, were removed in the most recent patches, and I don't, I'm pretty sure, because I remember back when I needed this trophy, back when I was playing it in 2016, I think, was the last time I played this, I, I looked up ways on how to get it, and, uh, there was no surefire way to get it quickly, was, was what I was told from, uh, several sources. Uh, because the game had patched out all the XP exploits, as I said, and made it so that you have to fucking get that XP, like, honestly, and, like, earn it through just playing the game and gritting your teeth and fucking doing it. And it's like, God damn it! like, okay, Skyrim's a great game, and this trophy list by no means takes away from the quality of the game. Skyrim's one of my favorites. But, what I looking at this purely from a trophy hunter's perspective my main issue with this trophy is that you have every literally every other trophy in the game long before you have this one like hours upon hours upon hours before you are even close to getting this one why is that a problem because i think a well-made trophy list should be completely equalized and balanced out like you should be getting one trophy after another, like, relatively consistently. I really don't like when I have all the trophies in the game except one, and then I, let's say, let's say it took me, like, 48 hours to get every trophy in the game except this one. Now I have to spend another 48 hours, maybe more, just getting one trophy? Like, that's not, like, what the hell is that? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, if you're gonna have a complete and well-made trophy list, make it so that, like, you're getting trophies consistently throughout the entire course of the time you are spending playing this game. Have it be a completed journey. Make it, make the player feel fulfilled and satisfied. Like, oh, uh, something you could have done differently if you absolutely want this trophy in the game and you refuse to change the requirements of the trophy or make it a different trophy altogether something else you could do is like have me working towards maybe two or three other trophies while i'm going for this one because that way it's not so fucking mind-numbing and grindy like when i'm playing and i'm going for this trophy now for the legendary dragon kill all i'm thinking about is Oh, I just need fucking XP until I can kill that fucking dragon and then I'm done with the game. Th then I can stop playing and stop making myself miserable. But if you had like two or three other trophies that took a while to get as well, then at least I could be working towards those other trophies at the same time and all these trophies are slowly being worked towards and that way it doesn't feel so much like a slog. Like, yeah, sure, the legendary dragon's still gonna take forever to, to spawn and kill, but at least I'm working towards this right now, and this can take up my, my focus and my concentration, and I'm worrying about this trophy right now. And then by the time I'm done that trophy, I'm a little closer to this other trophy, which also takes a while, but hey, I'm that much closer to it, so I, I, can, I can fucking pull through, I can do this, I'll, I'll keep going. And then you get that other trophy, and then by then, maybe you're that much closer. Maybe you're only two, three levels away from the legendary dragon. And then you're like, alright, 
I've come this far. I can do it. And then you'll you'll get that that last little bit of motivation that you needed and encouragement and determination to be like, yes, I can do this. But no, this trophy literally takes so much longer than every other trophy in the game that it, it's just pain and suffering. And th that may not matter to some people or it may not seem like much, but to me, that's fucking important. Like, you should feel... The trophy list should be stimulating you and your mind throughout the entire duration of the game. Not have this... Not enjoy like 90% of the game and then the last 10% is just pain and fucking suffering. Like, it's, it's an easy fix. It's something that the people who make these trophy lists, um, these godforsaken trophy lists... They can do better. It's a simple, easy fix. They could have they could have looked at this trophy and be like, oh man, yeah, you know what? This this one takes a really long time, and it's likely that players would have every other trophy in the game long before they get this one. Let's let's maybe make this trophy something else. You know? We'll, we'll give them a different trophy. And that's my main point. Like, I just can't stand trophies like this, and to me, they're the worst ones. Another prime example is a trophy in Diablo 3, which I also platinumed. Uh, where is it? Let me see. This one. Complete 500 bounties. So this was one of, if not the last trophy I got in the game, I believe. I know it was, if it wasn't the last trophy, it was like the last, the second last one or something like that. Completing 500 bounties fucking sucks and this is by far the worst trophy in this entire game so there's this like completely separate mode from the campaign uh you can play in this game in order to do bounties and you just fucking you spawn in and the bounty's like okay go here and kill this guy you go and do it and it's like bounty completed now go to another one and it's like it's so mind-numbing. It's it's like very simple, trivial tasks. Nothing meaningful whatsoever. There's no like crazy dialogue or crazy action. It's just go here and do this trivial fucking remedial thing. And, and, and chop chop. Get it done fast, you dumb bitch. And, and you gotta do 500 of them. This took so long and it was one of the most monotonous things I've ever ever fucking done in a video game like i was live streaming when i was going for this trophy because i needed my chat there to like talk to me about random stuff so that i didn't lose my fucking mind i'm sitting there playing on autopilot and at least i could look over and chat and be like oh this guy said this and like haha let's have a conversation like and it, and it made it that shit got me through that trophy because doing if i wasn't streaming it i would have just been sitting here in silence or maybe well, I could've listened to a podcast or something, but still. My point still stands. This trophy fucking sucks, and it'll- It's- it's much like the trophy in Skyrim that I was talking about, because you will have every other trophy in the game long before you have this one, and it, it'll be one of the last fucking trophies that you need. And it's bullshit. It's fucking dumb. Like, why do I have to spend my last final moments on this game in just pain and suffering and misery? Like, doing this trivial dumb shit that isn't even fun to do, and it just feels more like work than actually enjoying playing the game. Like, it's, it's awful. It's fucking awful. Uh, and trophies like this are my fucking kryptonite, and I can't stand them. Whenever I'm trophy hunting in a game, and there's a trophy like this, I'm just like, oh god. Like, I always have to do a double take, and maybe rethink my life, and truly consider if the Platinum is worth getting, but... That's my overall opinion on the worst trophies in games. I thought I provided some good examples. But yes, that is my overall opinion and discussion on the worst kinds of trophies in games. There are some other uh, types of trophies that I considered that would definitely fit, fit the bill. For example, any sort of RNG-based trophies. Like, for example, if you're playing an RPG game and a trophy requires you to get this very specific item in order to platinum. However, this item can only be crafted using a material that only has a 0.112% chance to drop off this one obscure enemy in the game. Uh, good luck, have fun spending several hours just killing that one enemy over and over to get the item you need. Like, trophies like that suck too, and they are also among my most hated. 
definitely for sure. But with RNG, RNG is something where like if you put enough time into it, you'll get it eventually. Like yeah, it may take well over an hour or several hours to get this particular thing, and that definitely sucks. But with the examples I provided like Skyrim and um, and Diablo, it's not RNG. There's not like a Oh, maybe there's a chance I'll get it if I'm lucky. No, these guaranteed will take you hours upon hours upon hours. Guaranteed. There's no random luck factor involved at all. At least with RNG, you might get lucky. But with these other kinds of trophies that I talked about in this video, it's like, no, your ass is going to suffer guaranteed and there is no getting around it, motherfucker. <laughs> But yeah, uh, that's why I, you know, I weighed my options and I considered, hey, yeah, no, these are definitely the worst kinds of trophies in games, in my opinion. Let me know if you agree in the comments. Uh, share with me your guys' most terrible experiences with trophies. Feel free. Have at it in the comment section. That's what it's there for. And hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to check out my channel for more videos just like it. Any trophy hunting content related stuff. It's all there. Look on the homepage. You'll find it. And, uh, of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And, of course, hit that notification bell to support me. I'd really appreciate it. With that, have a great rest of your day, guys. Take it easy. And I will definitely see you in the next one.